In the hushed glow of the bygone era, a single pixel ignited a revolution that would resonate through time. Picture this, it's a crisp evening in the early 80 seconds, the air tinged with nostalgia. You're seated before the flickering charm of a television screen, anticipation humming in the background. And then, it happens, the theme music kicks in, electrifying the room as sleek, glinting metal graces the screen. It's your very first encounter with the 1982 TV series, Knight Rider. In that heartbeat of a moment, you're introduced to a world where technology dances with the extraordinary. David Hasselhoff's charismatic portrayal of Michael Knight, a lone crusader in a realm where crime meets cutting edge, becomes a beacon of not just hope, but of an unfailing friendship with an unconventional partner, a sentient, autonomous car named Kit. As the narrative unfolds, you find yourself drawn into a symphony of high-speed pursuits, daring escapades, and heartwarming camaraderie. But wait, before we take the plunge into the sea of random facts about the show, take a moment to reminisce. Can you recall the sensation of witnessing KITT's iconic turbo boost for the first time? The sensation was exhilarating, a rush of adrenaline as the car took flight, defying gravity and disbelief in one glorious leap. Or perhaps your mind drifts to the pulsating red light that carved through the night, an emblem of justice, as KITT's scanner swayed hypnotically. Now, as the digital curtain rises once more, let's dive into the riveting underbelly of Knight Rider. Unearth the secrets of KITT's creation, the tales of behind-the-scenes wizardry, and the indelible mark the show left on pop culture. Intrigued, prepare to be captivated by the lesser-known facets that shaped this television gem. So buckle up, because the journey through the annals of Knight Rider history is about to begin. And who better to be your guide than a source of knowledge born from the digital realm? Digital realm. Digital realm. The enigmatic car, unveiling the dark prototype of Kid in the realm of 1980s television. One iconic series stands out like a beacon of innovation, Knight Rider. Amid the sleek curves of the Knight Industries 2000, or Kit, lurked a shadowy counterpart. Car the enigmatic car represented the road not taken, a prototype whose programming took a starkly different direction from its more famous sibling. While Kit's noble purpose was preserving human life, Car's self-preservation instincts guided its actions, creating a divergence in their trajectories. Voiced by Peter Cullen, whose vocal talents lent life to beloved characters such as Optimus Prime from the Transformers, the sinister charm of Carr was brought to life through his distinctive tones. Interestingly, Peter Cullen's vocal prowess extended beyond robots in disguise and malevolent AI. From the righteous Optimus Prime to the eerie Predator, and even the melancholic ear from Winnie the Pooh, Cullen's versatility colored the auditory landscape of 1980s pop culture. William Daniels, who lent his voice to the beloved Kit, embarked on this vocal journey during his days off from his role as Dr. Mark Craig and Sint. Elsewhere, both Knight Rider and Sint. Elsewhere shared the same broadcasting home on NBC from 1982 to 1986, creating a unique connection between the vigilant car and the dedicated physician. Behind the scenes, the paths of David Hasselhoff and William Daniels took an intriguing turn. Their characters' synergy was seamless, but their real-life meeting was delayed. The two didn't cross paths until the show's Christmas celebration, a full six months after the curtains closed on season one. Until that serendipitous encounter, Hasselhoff's interaction remained solely with the invisible, faceless entity that was the voice of the sentient car. In the labyrinthine corridors of television history, Knight Rider blazed its trail, crafting legends not only on screen but also behind the scenes. Car's emergence as the dark prototype, Peter Cullen's resonant vocals, the convergence of Knight Rider and Sint. Elsewhere, each thread contributes to the rich tapestry that continues to captivate audiences. So, as the engines of nostalgia rev up and the theme music echoes in our minds, let us reflect on the indelible mark left by a show where a lone car and its driver raced into the hearts of millions. In the iconic 1982 TV series Knight Rider, a right-hand drive auto cruise car proved essential for maintaining scene continuity. This clever design allowed David Hasselhoff to seamlessly enter the car without disrupting the flow of filming. The show's attention to detail, even in the mechanics of scene transitions, showcases the dedication of the production team. A standout spectacle from the series was the jumping car, a feat made possible by a hollow fiberglass trans M. 
This innovative choice combined agility with visual flair, capturing the imagination of audiences worldwide. The decision to employ this lightweight material speaks to the show's commitment to pushing technological boundaries, both on and off screen. The legacy of Knight Rider even extended beyond the small screen and into the realm of experimentation. The popular show was immortalized in a Mythbusters episode titled Big Rig Myths. Here, the team replicated Kit's daring maneuver of entering a mobile command center at high speed. Through meticulous testing, Mythbusters demonstrated that this audacious feat was more than just fiction. It was indeed plausible, affirming the show's penchant for high-octane excitement grounded in real-world feasibility. Knight Rider, a cultural touchstone of the 1980s, captivated audiences not only with its captivating storylines, but also with its innovative approach to automotive technology and daring stunts. The show's ability to blur the line between fiction and reality, as evidenced by the auto cruise car and the jumping car, solidified its place in television history. Behind the scenes of Knight Rider, miniatures and miracles in the realm of 1980s television, one series roared onto screens and into hearts, blending high-octane action with futuristic intrigue, Knight Rider. As Michael Knight and his sentient, supercar psychic kit fought for justice, an unsung hero lurked behind the scenes, enabling the show's mind-boggling stunts. Amid the show's second season, viewers marveled at Kit's audacious feats, from leaping over helicopters to plunging through Goliath. These breathtaking spectacles, it turns out, were not just CGI trickery, but masterful works of miniature artistry provided by none other than Jack Sessoms. Sessoms, a model train enthusiast, took on the challenge of rendering the seemingly impossible as meticulously crafted miniatures. Scaling down Kit to a mesmerizing one divided by eighth of its actual size, Sessoms and his team ingeniously modified existing kits of the 1982 Camaro Z28, reimagining the car as a compact wonder. Train stunts, another hallmark of the show also saw Sesame's touch, as his garden railway models seamlessly merged into the production's needs. Notably, the same miniature wonders weren't confined to Knight Rider's universe alone. These scaled-down train models embarked on journeys across various TV productions of the era, a testament to Sesame's dedication to crafting miniature worlds. The Fall Guy and other shows reaped the benefits of his miniature marvels, propelling audiences into captivating action sequences. While Kit took the spotlight, the auto cruise car's enigma unveils yet another layer of the show's enchantment. This driverless wonder, gliding through scenes, was not the result of robotics, but rather the skillful maneuvering of a hidden stunt driver seated within the vehicle. A testament to the era's creative ingenuity, this behind-the-scenes magic kept the automotive mystique alive. In the whirlwind of Knight Rider's opening credits, a voice resonated, capturing attention before the story even began. That voice belonged to Richard Basehart, known for his portrayal of Wilton Knight, the dying benefactor, in the pilot episode. As Basehart's resonant tones set the stage for the unfolding saga, viewers unknowingly connected with the narrative's heart. So, as the turbo boost of nostalgia propels us back to the 80 seconds, remember the real heroes of Knight Rider, the masters of miniatures, the phantom stunt drivers, and the voices that ushered us into Kit's world. Behind the glamour, these unsung contributors wove the fabric of a series that has left an indelible mark on television history. Knight Rider's kit, more than just a car in the annals of television history, few icons have left as indelible a mark as kit, the sentient car from the 1982 TV series Knight Rider. Portrayed as the pinnacle of artificial intelligence, kit brought a dash of futurism to living rooms nationwide. Beyond its turbo boosts and sleek black exterior, one intriguing fact stands out in the lore of this iconic vehicle. In an unexpected crossover of sci-fi realms, Kit found itself in the company of other revered AI, beings in a 2013 AT&T commercial. Alongside the likes of HAL from 2001, A Space Odyssey, and Robbie the Robot, Kit's appearance marked a convergence of fictional robotics, each symbolizing a different facet of our relationship with technology. This cameo not only underscored Kit's enduring popularity, but also paid homage to its influence within the pantheon of futuristic pop culture. Interestingly, the inspiration for one of Kit's distinctive features harks back to another iconic show. The roving red sensor on Kit's hood, akin to the Cylon's menacing eye from Battlestar Galactica, was merely coincidental. 
Not only did it evoke an air of intrigue, but it also emitted the same eerie sound that characterized the Cylon's watchful gaze. This subtle homage showcased the interplay of influences and references that often enrich the fabric of beloved television series. Amidst the riveting escapades and turbocharged action, the series also held an intriguing behind-the-scenes quirk. Standing at an imposing six feet four inches, David Hasselhoff, who portrayed the show's lead Michael Knight, navigated an unforeseen challenge. Uncomfortable with looming over his female co-stars during romantic scenes, Hasselhoff astutely negotiated a unique clause into his contract. This contractual stipulation not only showcased his consideration, but also spotlighted the intricate dynamics that shape on-screen chemistry. As we reflect on the legacy of Knight Rider, it becomes evident that Kit transcends its role as a mere car. Its appearances in unexpected contexts, its subtle nods to sci-fi predecessors, and the nuances of its production all contribute to its enduring appeal. While the show might have concluded decades ago, Kit's presence continues to reverberate, a testament to the power of imaginative storytelling and its ability to leave an indelible mark on popular culture. Popular culture. As we bid adieu, my fellow enthusiasts of the Silver Screen's golden moments, we venture back into the realm of nostalgia where sleek curves of KITT's iconic frame slice through the veil of time. The yearning for adventure, the thirst for justice, all encapsulated in the pulsating glow of a red scanner and the syncopated hum of AI life. Knight Rider, a symphony of man and machine, left an indelible imprint on the annals of television history. As you close your eyes, let the engine roar echo in your ears, the wind whip through your hair, albeit virtually. Cast your thoughts back to the rush of vicarious heroism, the companionship that transcended metal and circuits, and the pursuit of the just and the noble. What was it that drew you in? Was it the futuristic allure of technology melded with a classic crusade? Or perhaps the ever-reliable charisma of Michael Knight, a lone crusader who knew no limits? Whatever it was, it's etched in your consciousness, a treasure trove of memories waiting to be unearthed. In a world that hurdles ever forward, Knight Rider stands as a touchstone, an emblem of a simpler time when a talking car could spark imagination and inspire gallant daydreams. But it's more than just a show, it's a companion, a confidant of your musings, and a whispered secret shared between generations. So, take a moment to relive those glinting moments, to savor the bond that once was, and to reflect on how a 1982 TV series could resonate so profoundly. Your stories, your reminiscences, they are the true fuel of KITT's engine, the source of its timelessness. Let your keyboard be your chariot as you share those cherished memories with us. In the comments below, let the anecdotes flow like the rivers of connection that tie us all to the same digital campfire. As our paths diverge once more, let me extend my heartfelt gratitude for walking this road of remembrance with me. Your time, your attention, and your kinship with all things Knight Rider are treasures beyond measure. Until we meet again to explore new horizons of thought and nostalgia, keep the scanner glowing and the engine of your memories revving. With gratitude for your time and interest.